guys okay i know i look quite miserable it's not miserable like looks very kitty ah with this hairstyle i thought it would be less maintenance but unfortunately if i do want to be quite okay i have to do some sitting on the hay anyway that's not my intention i cut my hay with the intention of having less maintenance and etc and anyway today is uh 3rd of february 11 47 am just wanted to capture this out so yesterday i had a session with dennis um uh, a yogic a yogic cosmic yogic and i think he actually pointed several things out and i think that's what actually happening to me okay so I think it was actually starting in January, early of January or was it December, that I noticed that I was actually getting okay <coughs> with the Monday. I kind of losing my restlessness or the fire or the spark <laughs> about being spirit spiritual, okay? It's just basically like the heart is finally finally i would say being started to opening up to be okay with life without spiritual aspect it's just like it started to opening up like okay maybe we should experience this and <clears throat> to be okay with it like this is the life without the spiritual aspect of it i was starting starting to be okay starting to have that soft spot of life without this spiritual aspect of it though however when i'm alone when i'm alone physically alone my <laughs> my i will be brought to it my attention will be overwhelmed by is this it is this life so is this i was not having a spark of joy of pure content or pure satisfaction of what my life is when i'm alone so i can conclude that from that experience and also from the things that what dennis has shared to me what have mentioned to me that i needed a ground on my path of on my spiritual path I can conclude that I'm just being distracted. I can say that I am content with the person that I'm with right now in terms of partnership. I'm enjoying his company and I'm enjoying my company. I'm probably enjoying my work right now, so I feel content. So when I'm occupied with all these things, I will not give much attention to my spiritual growth. <coughs> To be honest, in January, none of it contributed to spiritual part at all. There's no meditation. But that's why I say, you know. But the thing is, when I'm alone, my mind is just stays there. It stays there. It's actually reminding me, is this enough? It's not only it's not, is this enough, but it's rather saying that, Oh, this is the relationship that we want. But why does it feel void? Why does it feel empty? All stated in it, we were not content with it. So Dennis actually advised me that I needed to be ground in my journey so I would not stay, I would not be astray. That's what I got. And yeah, that was his advice. And Yes, actually, because I know that this is about decision, but however, because life is about making choices, you need to choose the path that you want, but he also reminded me that things can be concurrent, that surviving and spiritual can be concurrent, so it's okay, and I'm going to take this chance. <coughs> This is the journey that I'm going to embark from this stage, which is about 
I have to remind myself and he also reminded myself that I have to remind myself that I have to put the fuel in this spirit before I lose it for my consciousness it's in another part because it's already day because before I get overwhelmed and drawn in the mundane life I have to put a spark in it anyway so that's I'm going to invest in this pendant <laughs> though I mean I have received one pendant from Bapak previously but probably lose his energy and I could not connect much with Bapak as well because he's he's more into business minded I would say Anyway, <coughs> I'm going to try it because I've yet to try it. And my, I think my biggest target will be actually living synchronously, spiritual and also surviving. Yeah, I think that's doable.